tuweze kusimama ili tuanze kwa wimbo wa taifa Kwa heshima naomba tubaki tumesimama ni mwalike Bishop Callistus atuongoze kwa maombi. Wacha tuombe. Kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana la Roho Mtakatifu, Mwenyezi Mungu muumba mbingu na inji, Baba wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo, tunakushukuru Bwana. Tunalibariki jina lako katika siku ya leo. Hiki wa siku mpya maisha ni mwetu Bwana umepata kuifanya. Tunaishangilia na tunaibariki. Asante Bwana. Kwa neema yako kubwa umepata kutuletea wakeni wetu wa heshima rais wetu pamoja na ibu wa rais na viongozi wote kwa chumla bwana kiwemo kafana wetu umetutenda mema siku ya leo bwana tunatangazia udongo wa Pungoma kaundi ya kwamba kuanzia leo unanawiri na kufanikiwa tunatangazia udongo wa Pungoma kaundi ya kwamba kuanzia leo unazalisha ili bwana mapatiliko makubwa ikabare kupatikana tunatangazia matabau ya kuzimu ambayo Mungu hakuweka inangolewa na kuharibika katika jina la Yesu Kristo bwana tunafunika pahala kwa damu Yesu Kristo neema yako na kibali chako kikubwa ikabare kutawala na ni katika jina la Baba na la Mwana la Roho Mtakatifu tunaomba tunashukuru na hata kuamini naomba tuweze kuketi mheshimiwa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya naibu wa rais Uh, speaker wa National Assembly Moses Wetangula Gavana, viongozi wa tabaka mbalimbali kwa sasa naomba ni mwalike mwenyekiti honorable Alfred Kangati aje aweze kunena machache na pia tukaribishe hapa nzoia tumpigie makofi ya kija tafadhali karibu mwenyekiti Your Excellency the President Dr. William Samoya Ruto 
Your Excellence, the Deputy President, Honorable Rikavi Kashagwa, Right Honorable Speaker of the National Assembly, Moses Masika Wetangula, Your Excellency Governor of Bongoma County, uh, Mashimua Lusaka, you'll forgive me, all protocols observed. Mine will be very brief. My duty here is first and foremost to welcome His Excellency, the President. We are very grateful that in less than one year, you are back to hear us and to help us solve our problems. Your Excellency, when you came here the last time, mambo haikuwa mzuri sana. Lakini, nataka kukuambia kwamba, we have had changes here. And even the farmers are going to tell you as much. Nucleus, ambaye likuwa haijalimwa mzuri, saa hii melimwa, emepandua miwa, miwa emepaliliwa, saa tunatofuta mbolea. Na tunakuomba, uwezo wetu umekua kidogo, lakini tusaidie ili hii miwa tumepanda zaidi ya 1,000 acres. Actually, to be precise, 1,500 acres. Isipote. Because of the rains, we have a lot of weeds and uh, we don't want to lose the cane. The situation is different, Your Excellence. When you go to the nucleus, you are going to see that uh, it is looking green and completely healthy. But we, might, we, we don't want also to forget that there was your input because you directed ADC and NYS to come here and help us plow and plant the cane. So asante sana. Number two, Your Excellency, I want to tell you that since you appointed me, I'm, I'm now doing my first year. I came here with a lot of problems. When I looked at the books of accounts, they were bad. We tried to take our, to go out and look for money, and everywhere we went, they were saying, let Avida Bienu kwanza tukagwe tuone. Tukaenda kwa banks, kwa marafiki. It was not possible. People would look at our books and throw them away. But through your intervention, and I must add members of parliament, the biggest debt we had of 54 billion shillings was written off. And uh, the minister, minister for finance, has given us a certificate to that effect. Sasa vidabietu ni sawa. We can go out and negotiate even a small credit ili tusio tunakuja kukusumbua kila wakati. So, nataka kushukuru wewe, Your Excellence, because pesa mingi kama hiyo, hainge weko wakando without your intervention. Number two, these farmers who are here. Number three, thank you very much. <laughs> these farmers who are here, starting from yesterday, walianza kupata kitu kidogo. Wakulima niyo hivyo? Se maanyo ole kusisi hindu? Maanyo ole na mwetawe? Eh. Iyo ni dalili kwamba ile deni ya wakulima ambaye mekue na tusumbua. Sasa inalipwa and I'm told within two, three weeks the PS is here. We've been talking to him. Hatuta kuwa mkulima hata kuwa na deni. Kila deni ya mkulima itakuwa imelipwa. Tunakushukuru kwa maana hiyo pesa mingi hainge toka bila idhini yako. Situpikie rise makofi jameni. Hey, lazima 
lazima tuwe watu wa shukurani unajua tukimshukuru you never know akitoka hapa anaweza kukurushia nyingine kidogo kwa maana bado tuko na shida ya wafanyikazi finally your excellence ukiangalia huko utaona kuna moshi a miracle by god himself your excellence when you appointed me mitandao iliandikwa ati sisi bodi yangu we have now become morticians yani mortician ni yule mtu anafanya kwa mochari sasa tumekuja tutengeneze hii kiwanda yetu isikwe but through our determination we have done a lot of things the factory without receiving money from anywhere na president mwenyewe yuko hapa governor yuko speaker yuko kama walitupatia pesa utasema lakini mimi nikanyenyekea nikauza vichuma tukatengeneza unajua mimi nilikuwa mheshimiwa sasa kuanza kuuza vichuma si kitu mzuri sasa factory is now crashing it has a few problems but those problems we are going to deal with them so kwa hiyo kwangu ni shukurani asanti sana na nataka nichukue hii nafasi nialike mjumbe wetu mheshimiwa makali a take over from there mheshimiwa makali Mheshimiwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya, Mheshimiwa Makamu wa Rais, Mheshimiwa Speaker wa Bunge letu la Kitaifa, Governor wetu wa County ya Bungoma, Mawaziri ambao wako hapa, wenzangu wa jumbe, wakulima wote itifaki zote zikizingatiwa na wananchi wote wa Kandui hamjambo. Hebu nione vigelegele ya kukaribisha Rais wa Jamhuri. kwa sababu ya muda nataka kuwa mfupi sana. Kwanza ni kuchukua nafasi hii kukaribisha Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya hapa Nzoya. Kila wakati wananiuliza wewe ni mjumbe wa Kandui ya mbunge wa mbunge wa Nzoya. Wanaambia kwa Nzoya ni Kandui na Kandui ni Nzoya. Sasa Rais karibu sana hapa Nzoya, karibu sana hapa Kandui constituency. We don't take it for granted. Unatupenda na nimeona ulikuja hapa mwezi wa nane mwaka jana na umekuja hapa siku ya leo we don't take it for granted. Kitu cha pili rice ni kukushukuru sana. Nzoya Sugar Company ndio uti wa mgongo wa kaunti ya Bungoma, uchumi wa kaunti ya Bungoma. Na lazima tuweze kuushikilia kabisa mheshimiwa rais. Hii Nzoya ndio the only heritage yenye tuko na ndio only factory ambayo bado iko kwa sasa. Na tunaomba mheshimiwa rais yangu nikikuwa mjumbe kabla sijaita hawa wajumbe wenzangu niweze kujulisha mambo ni matatu mheshimiwa rais vile ulivyosema vile wanasema mgeni njoo mwenye nyumba apone uponyaji wa kwanza ambao watu wanataka mheshimiwa rais ni kuwa wakulima waweze kulipa fedha zao waweze kupeleka watoto wa shule nafikiri vile umefika hapa siku ya leo mheshimiwa rais watapata huo uponyaji Uponyaji wa pili mheshimiwa rais hawa wafanyikazi wetu hawa wafanyikazi mheshimiwa rais wamekaa miaka miezi 22 bila fedha zozote mheshimiwa rais wahurumia hawa wafanyikazi ili pia waweze kupeleka watoto shule Uponyaji wa tatu mheshimiwa rais siku mbili sijalala mheshimiwa rais Nimepigiwa simu wananchi hapa wanapiga masimu wanasema kiwanda chetu kimeuzwa wanasema kiwanda chetu kimeenda juzi wakanipigia simu wasema wazungu na makala singa wako kwa factory mheshimiwa rais nafikiri utaambia watu hawa kwamba kiwanda hiki hakiwezi kwenda bila wao kuhusishwa hao ndio wanatoa waamuzi wa kuendeleza hii factory tukienda mbele na mheshimiwa rais ni kukushukuru sana kwa vile mheshimiwa rais tulikampeni kwa ahadi 
kutatusaidia tutekeleze zaani tunashukuru sana tumetekeleza ahadi ya kuweza kutoa yale madeni tumetekeleza ahadi ya kuweka pesa katika bajeti mheshimiwa rais na kuomba kwa sababu hii kampuni 98% ni it's owned by the government na wale mbali si mizi bola nanu wanasema hii factory tafadhali tusaidie iweze kusimama tuweze kujua tunafanya namna gani mimi tumeandamana hapa na viongozi wengi sana kwa sababu ya muda ningependa kutambulisha viongozi wetu wa county assembly wakiongozwa na speaker wetu waweze kusimama tu viongozi nimeambia kwa sababu ya muda na mvua tafadhali mtaniwia radhi pia tuna wajumbe wengi sana ambao wamekuja hapa lakini kwa sababu ulikuwa ni mkutano wa rais na tunataka kusikia maneno ya rais ni kweli Unajua ule wakati mwingine tulikuja kwa mvua na tukaondoka vile tuliondoka. Leo tunataka tuchukue nafasi tusikize rais. Ni kweli? Nataka kuwajulisha tu wajumbe ambao waka hapa. Tafadhali mnaweza kuja hapa tu. Mjitambulishe tu kwa sababu ni viongozi ili wananchi waweze kuwaona tu. Mheshimiwa rais ambaye ni rafiki yangu Unajua rais watu wanafikiri sisi sio marafiki. Tumetembea na rais muda mrefu sana. Na ujumbe wako wote kiongozwa na papa wa Roma, kijana wetu wa hapa na gavana wetu karibu Bungoma. Na nashukuru umekuja tutatue maneno ya Bungoma. Mheshimiwa rais kwa sababu wewe ni rafiki yangu. Lazima nikwambie yale hawa wakazi wa Bungoma wanafikiria kwa mambo ya nzoi. Tukiwa hapa siku ya leo tutakumbuka kwamba leo hii hatuna pan paper. Kwa sababu mambo ilianza kimchezo 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 pan paper ikaenda. Tukiwa hapa rais hatuna viwanda vya vyote macho moja imebaki ni Nzoia Sugar Company. Itakumbuka kwamba mheshimiwa rais ulipata kura mingi sana hapa Bungoma. Na ni kwa sababu wewe ulikuja ukatoa mkataba ukasema mimi nikikuwa rais wa Kenya nitafanya mambo matatu. Jambo la kwanza nitalete factory kwa siku mia moja Jambo la pili nitalipa pesa ya wakulima wote. Jambo la tatu nitalipa pesa ya wafanyikazi. Mheshimiwa tukiwa hapa Bungoma leo tunakuomba wewe uyatekeleze hayo mambo ya tatu ulioambia watu wa Bungoma. Hii nzoya ni kizungumkuti mheshimiwa rais kwa mambo ya wakazi wa hapa. Mtu asikudanganye. Hawa marafiki zetu wa kuambia ukweli wananchi hawataki kiwanda cha nzoya kiuzwe. Kwa heshima zote mheshimiwa utusikie sisi kivilio usikie vilio vya watu wako vilio vya wanyonge leasing privatization selling watu wanasema tawe asanteni sana na Mungu ambariki Asante 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 mheshimiwa Jack kwa sababu ya muda kwa sababu ya muda Nafikiri nitaita tu Mheshimiwa Dan peke yake kwa sababu Mheshimiwa Dan ako katika sehemu hii ya upanzi wa miwa. Mheshimiwa Dan wanyama. Rais wetu naibu wa rais speaker of the National Assembly the governor of the county of Bungoma viongozi wengine wananchi wa tukuvu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yangu ni kuweza kushukuru rais kwanza kabisa kukuja ili kuona kwamba mambo ya wakulima, mambo ya wafanyikazi katika Nzoia Sugar Company inatatuliwa. Ne bana befwe bunga libulio. Umanye Ewe onyara wacha kama sikake babene mara wenya hukukura hutumo mwenu filiru 
Isese mimi kama Dan Wanyama wakulima wengi ambao wanaleta miwa hapa wanatoka katika eneo langu na ninajua na niko na imani kwamba wachache wameanza kulipwa na wote by the end of this uh, next month kila mkulima ambaye ako na deni hapa atakuwa amelipwa na hiyo tumekubaliana wafanyikazi kwa sababu rais wameumia kukaa miaka 20 miezi 24 bila mshahara hiyo ni mateso makubwa na rais najua umekubali kwamba unaenda kutatua mambo ya hao wafanyikazi wetu lakini kile nitasema it is not going to be business as usual hatuwezi kuwa tunakuja hapa mwaka nenda mwaka rudi kutatua madeni ya wakulima na madeni ya wafanyikazi lazima tubadilishe hali ya management ya nzoya it must be efficient and it must work and we are atutapembeleza mtu yeyote and we are not going to allow people to do pop, pop, uh, public uh, publicity of politics kwa mambo ya nzoya hiyo mimi nitakataa na tutaona kwamba mambo ya nzoa ya nzoya imetatuliwa once and for all mbarikiwe sana mwisho rais molasses imejaa hapa haiuzwi kwa sababu mipaka ilifungwa mbolea ya mkulima wa miwa haijarudishwa chini naomba ikuwe subsidize kama vile ya mahindi iko na kwa vile tuko na chairman ya alpha hapa mimi naona amrisha yeye mpaka ifunguliwe molaze ziuswe na pia kushaka kwa miwa ya nzoya ipande juu from 15000 a uh, 1500 to at least 3000 ili miwa ya wakulima iweze kushagwa asante sana asante sana asante sana kwa sababu ya muda wacha nimuite mheshimiwa governor aweze kuongea na ataita wageni wengine mbarikiwe sana haya kwa sababu ya muda wacha nilete seneta dakika moja aje atusalimie nilete speaker tupate hotuba ya mheshimiwa rais mheshimiwa rais wasale mlembe mimi nitakuwa mfupi mheshimiwa rais mimi kama seneta ninaomba kuona pesa mifukoni mwa wakulima wa nzoya jambo la pili ni kuona pesa mifukoni mwa wafanyikazi wa nzoya Jambo la tatu ni kuhakikisha unyoshaji wa management na uchapakazi wa wasimamizi wa nzoya. Kama sio hiyo siasa ya pesa nane simo tunataka kusonga mbele. Asante mheshimiwa rais. Haya mheshimiwa rais. Mambo yetu tumeongea na wewe kwa niaba ya hawa wafanyikazi na wakulima. Na mimi najua ukiongea hapa leo tutafunga duka ya porojo na propaganda kwa sababu tunajua yale tumezungumza utakuja kuelezea watu wetu hapo kwa hivyo wacha nilete mheshimiwa speaker aje aweze kuzungumza baada ya kuite wetu kubaliana yale maneno ambayo tulikuwa tumezungumza mheshimiwa speaker Mheshimiwa Rais Makamu wa Rais ndugu Rigadi Waheshimiwa wabunge wetu governor wetu waziri wetu wa afya aliye hapa na viongozi wote tukiwa na management na waheshimiwa wakulima na wafanyakazi ya mjambo Mlembe Mlembe swa Mlembe te Mlembe mia Mheshimiwa Rais tulikuwa hapa mwezi wa nane tukafika hapa kama tumenyesha sana mkutano hakuenda sawa sawa Leo tumerudi hapa kutembelea kiwanda cha nzoya kwa sababu it is in the hearts and minds of our people Tumekuja hapa 
ili tujaribu tujaribu kuboresha hali ya wafanyakazi hali ya wakulima na kuleta pesa kwa wananchi nzoya ina historia yake nzoya ina matatizo yake na nzoya ina future yake vile tumekuja ndugu wakulima na wafanyakazi hakuna mtu hajui kwamba wafanyakazi wa nzoya na viongozi wenu huwa tunashirikiana na kuwasiliana mara kwa mara kwamba kumekuwa na shida ya kuwalipa mishahara yenu tumemweleza rais na ameambia sisi ya kwamba tutakuwa na suluhisho tumekuwa na shida ya kulipa wakulima mambo ya debt write off mimi nilianzisha hiyo kwa serikali ya mzee Kibaki in 2012 tukapeleka hoja kwa bunge na waziri wa fedha Robinson Kidai wakati ule at that time the debt was only 21.8 billion we wrote off the debt it was never removed from the books ikaendelea kuzaana mpaka ikafika 50 253 billion sasa hiyo imeondolewa kwa vitabu nzoya has a clean bill of financial health in terms of looking at its balance sheet security and zoya eco free us our only debts have been to the farmer na tunajua bila kumlipa mkulima hatutapata raw materials na namshukuru mheshimiwa hangata ametubrief ya kwamba tangu aanze kusiaga wale wakulima wameleta hii miwa hivi karibuni wanapata malipo in two weeks two weeks two weeks but we have the historical debts which you know ya kwamba serikali imetuma pesa inaanza kuingia kwa mifuko ya wananchi kizungumkuti tulio nayo hapa nzoya kwanza ni siasa mingi pili ni fitina mingi tatu ni sisi kama viongozi wanting to score cheap political points against each other mimi nataka kuwaomba ndugu zangu na tumemwambia rais na amekubali ya kwamba yoyote ambayo tunafanya lazima tuuzishe mfanyakazi tuuzishe mkulima tuuzishe mtu wa nok tuuzishe hawa bunge wetu MCS ambao wanahusika na tutaketi na viongozi wa serikali akiwa mawaziri so that whatever we do and we say kila mtu awe amehusika ameelewa anafahamu na hata leta fitina baadaye kwa sababu people talk people talk in discordant voices because of either ignorance or malice or both Sisi tunataka kila mtu ajue ya kwamba nobody in his right mind can undermine nzoya. Nobody in his right mind can understate the importance of nzoya. And nobody in his right mind can pretend that they care about nzoya more than others. Sisi zote nyinyi wafanyakazi wengine ni watoto wetu wengine ndugu zetu we have struggled with you throughout and we feel your pain. Watoto wenu wanaenda shule hakuna fees. Kazi umefanya you have logged in and out for 24 months. But the president has come here because he understands and he appreciates the value of the people of Bungoma. Sisi watu ya Bungoma tulifanya kazi yetu kisiasa. Tulitembea na wenzetu kisiasa. Tulipika kura yetu kisiasa and we made a difference in this country. And that difference will now pay dividends to our people. And that's why the president with his many challenges this is the second time he's coming to Zoya in less than one year. 
Not because he has nothing else to do, but because he cares and he knows that if everywhere else counts, Bungoma counts even more. And he's going to talk to you and engage you. Kila mota elewe ya kwamba hakuna mutu mwenye niambaya katika Bungoma yetu. Hii shamba ya nucleus ni shamba ya serikali. Na serikali ichukua kwa mababu zetu. is our ancestral heritage. Na kwamba whatever we want to do, we must take into account that the nostalgic effect that it will cause to us must be taken into account. Na sisi, kama viongozi wenu, nataka kuwaomba wabunge wetu, ma MCS wetu, governor wetu, come to the table when we are going to meet with the Minister for Finance and Agriculture and let everybody either say his bid or keep his school forever. Waja ni malizia hapa wanainji humu sima valimi muhagiva hapu nzo heye fwe ino tawe it is your only cow that you can keep and milk. Ere jizendi mfuko mwomu ndu arunge fizi yevana alisi ye family akende yesi abo ni kane hongo mundu. Nesenga kiongozu wenye I will never let you down. Neither shall I ever lead you astray. Neither shall I ever misadvise you. Neither shall I ever abandon you. You have made us where we are and proud to be what we are. We will stand with you and for you forever. Nikimalizia, niko hapa na wabunge, wacha ni waite wasimame, niko na mweshimi wa malulu injendi, mubunge wa malava, malava also gross can that comes to Nzoya, niko na mweshimi wa joni waluke, mwenye kiti wa wabunge wote wa western region, ambaye ni mbunge wa sirisia, na niko na majority leader, kimani ichungwa weku uja salamia daka moja umetoka mbali, ndiyo ni muite rafiki yangu rikiji. Watu wanzo hii ya hamjambo Asante bwana speaker Mimi sina mengi Ila tu kushukuru kwa Ile hatua mweshimua rais umechukua Na unakumbuka wakati ulituongoza Na ukaleta mswada kwa bunge Ya kufutilia mbali Madeni yote ya sugar factory zote Ikiwemo hii nzo hii na ni vizuri vile bwana speaker umesema ya kuwa kama viongozi tusiwe watu ambao ni wakufanya siasa ambazo ni siasa duni ambazo hazisaidii mwananchi wa kawaida na wakati tulikuwa bunge ni vizuri mheshimiwa rais sababu baadhi ya wabunge wa hapa western wote tukifutilia mbali hizo madeni za nzoia na zile sugar factory zingine wabunge karibu wote walikuwa bunge na wakapiga kura lakini nimeshangaa ndugu yangu Jack Wamboka ile siku ya kupiga kura hapa ameongea vizuri sana mambo yanagusia mkulima lakini mahali ilifaa mheshimiwa Wamboka uongee utetee wabunge wa wa, wa, wa wakulima na utetee wafanyikazi utete factory ya nzoia ifutiliwe mbali ile deni ilikuwa kwa bunge hiyo siku huku patikana upige kura kwa hivyo siku nyingine usiongee tu kwa hafla ya siasa ukitaka kufanya siasa pia kwa bunge fanya ile kazi wananchi wa Bumula walikupigia kura uje ufanye uwafutilie mbali madeni zao hiyo ndio itanufaa hao wananchi au sio watu wa nzoia na ile yote viongozi wengine wamesema najua rais sababu walisema bilioni hamsini karibu na nne ifutiliwe mbali ya nzoia anawajali anajua matatizo yenu na ako na suluhu ambazo zitasaidia lakini rais ile umeuliza kama miwa wanakulima wanaleta inasiagwa na inauzwa haiko kwa store sukari iko shida mahali na hiyo shida ya management lazima itatuliwe vile mheshimiwa uh, Dan Wanyama amesema 
na kama ni kutatua ikibidi ufanye ile mambo tatu ya wakora wenye wanaziaga miwa wanauza na hawalipi wakulima hawalipi wafanyikazi fanya hiyo mambo tatu rais asante mungu wabariki aya wanaenji mlembe lundi semanye leo mundu wa rigiji musema kweli huyo ndiyo david president wetu rafiki yetu nataka kumwalika ongee alafu amwalike rais akuje uh, awahutubie leo si leo si jamuumiza na kizungu mingi <laughs> asante sana rais wetu viongozi watu yanzoia hamjambu mrembe happy new year sisi tumeshukuru kufika hapa na rais rais akifika hapa kwa mara ya pili tangu kuchaguliwa kutafuta suluhisho la kudumu mambo ya nzoia na mambo ya nzoia ni mambo ambayo inatakana itatuliwe na mnajua mimi ni mtu ya kusema ukweli si mnajua hiyo mnataka niseme ukweli ama niseme what tungependa viongozi wakifika hapa kama iko shida museme iko shida kusema ukweli ni kwamba wakulima haja alipo kweli ama uongo iko shida ama hakuna wafanyikazi hawajalipwa iko shida ama hakuna sasa ukija useme kila suluhisho ni tawe 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 hakuna shida na ulete suluhisho unaongea mambo ya kusaidia ama ya kuharibu lazima uambie watu ukweli ukifika hapa useme iko shida na upeane suluhisho lakini uwezi fika kufurahisha watu kusema hii ni tawe, hii tawe, hii tawe alafu naketi. <laughs> si lazima tuogee ukweli. Ukweli ni kwamba iko shida. Si ndio? Mnasema rais alipe wakulima ni sawa. Alipe wafanyikazi. Alafu mwaka ujao. Mwaka huo mwingine. Atalipa kila mwaka. Sasa tuulize Si miwa mlileta hapa? Ikaenda wapi? Ikaenda wapi? Wafanyikazi walifanya kazi. Kwa nini wako lipwa? Rais ndiye alikuwa anasimamia hii factory. Ni yeye alikuwa hapa. Si kulikuwa na wasimamizi. So kikulacho kinguoni. So ni mzuri viongozi tuambiwa kulima ukweli. There is a problem in Zoia an internal problem mwalike rais haijaribu kumsaidia ndio tutatue hii shida wakulima wakilipwa sio mwaka huu walipwe miaka na miaka na milele that is the truth na ni mzuri tusaidie wakulima wetu as leaders by being truthful and by looking for solutions to a problem that has existed for a long time mimi tu ni kuhakikishia nyinyi vile mimi najua huyu rais mimi ndio msaidizi wake nikimsikiza nikiwa karibu ako na nia ya kutatua shida ya nzoia once and for all na tugetaka kuuliza viongozi wote tumuunge mkono vile man wetu amesema mketi give a solution don't just criticize don't say kila kitu tawe 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 without a solution you must give a solution kwa sababu there is a problem ama hakuna shida iko shida ama hakuna iko shida ama hakuna suluhisho inatakikana haitakikani Inatakikana itakikani. Sasa hii tawe ni solution. It's not a solution. Hiyo ni kupotosha watu. Wacha tukue watu wa kuongea ukweli, watu ya kusaidia wananchi, watu ya kuwa watu ya, ku, ya kutengeneza na tulete siasa ambayo hawesaidia. Na kiongozi wa nchi amefika hapa. So once you are leader ukifika hapa, provide a solution. Don't create a more problem than the, that was there. Wewe simama Sema solution yangu ni hii. Hao wananchi wasikie, rais asikie. Tumekubaliana? Mimi watu ya Bungoma nataka niseme asante. Unajua nyinyi ndio mlichagua huyu rais. Mimi sikuwa nimefika hapa, lakini mlipomsaidia mimi nikaponea hapo katikati nataka niseme asante. Si ni mzuri kusema ukweli. Nyinyi ndio mlinisaidia. Kwa hivyo rais akisaidia nyinyi mimi niko na furaha kwa sababu nyinyi ni watu wazuri. Kwa hivyo mimi ningetaka munisaidie, tumkaribishe kiongozi wa nchi hii 
Rais William Samoe Ruto kwa makofi akuja atusugumzie. Asanteni sana tafadhali tuketi chini wale mko na viti. Thank you very much. Waheshimiwa viongozi wote wenzangu ndugu wa kulima wananchi wa hapa Bungoma Mjambo. Nzoia murembe. Mulimu moyo. Mulibaramu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hebu mnisalimie hivi hewani. Basi kwanza mimi nataka nimshukuru Mungu ametupatia nafasi tumefika hapa kampuni yetu hii ya Nzoia na nimefurahi sana kwamba leo tumepata hii nafasi ya muhimu ya kuongea na wakulima pamoja na wafanyikazi wa kampuni hii ambayo ni kampuni ya muhimu sana hapa Bungoma County Wacha nichukue nafasi hii ya mbele Nilikuja hapa Bungoma nikaomba kura zenu mkanipatia mkatuongezea maombi nyingi Mungu naye akatupatia ushindi mimi nataka niseme Bungoma asante sana kwa kura zenu Narudia tena kusema Bungoma asante sana kwa kura zenu Na vile niliwahakikishia ya kwamba Kenya tutabadilisha na nitafanya bidii kuhakikisha ya kwamba Kenya yetu tunaipanga vizuri ndio tuweze kuhakikisha ya kwamba Kenya inasonga mbele Hatua yetu ya kwanza tulikubaliana tuwache kuagiza chakula kutoka nje njia ya kuondoa njaa njia ya kupunguza gharama ya maisha ni kuzalisha chakula hapa Kenya tuzalishe mahindi tuzalishe miwa tuzalishe kahawa tuzalishe chakula zile zingine zote mchele ngano na zile zingine ni kweli ama si kweli na kazi yangu ya kwanza mwaka uliopita kwa sababu ya umuhimu wa kuzalisha chakula Kenya ilikuwa ni kupunguza gharama ya mbolea ile mbolea ilikuwa inauzwa elfu saba leo hii inauzwa shilingi elfu mbili na mia tano nikisimama hapa tuko na malori hapa nje ambayo imebeba mbolea ya bungoma mwaka uliopita tulileta mbolea hapa 3500 Mwaka huu tumeleta mbolea 2500. Na tutakuwa na malori karibu mia moja ambayo itabeba mbolea yenye inakuja hapa e, Bungoma County. Nia yangu ni kuhakikisha kwamba mkulima wa mahindi na nyinyi nataka ni wapongeze, nyinyi ni wakulima muhimu wa zalendo. Mumetusaidia kuzalisha chakula Kenya. That is why Bungoma is a food surplus county. Mimi nataka niwaambie wakulima wa miwa pia hiyo kupunguza gharama ya mbolea ni ya mahindi, ya ngano, ya kahawa, ya miwa, all the crops tumepunguza mpaka 2500. So wale viongozi wameniuliza ati ya kwamba tunataka mbolea ipunguzwe We have done that already. We are going to make sure fertilizer is available to all our farmers of all our crops. Jambo la pili ni kupanga vile hii kilimo itasonga mbele. Mimi niliwaambia watu wa Bungoma shida ya nzoia hii kwa sababu ninaielewa mimi nimekuwa waziri wa kilimo mimi nimekuwa naibu wa rais. Mimi mmenipatia saa hizi nafasi ya kuwa rais wa Kenya. Sina namna hiyo. Hii shida ndi, mimi ndio nitamaliza. Hii anzoia hii. I will finish. Kwa hivyo msikue na wasiwasi. Sawa sawa. Eh. Hii anzoia ya miwani ya chemelil ya muhoroni pamoja na ile soni sugar. That is my assignment. Mimi nitamaliza hii matatizo. 
tumezunguka miaka nyingi lakini mwisho yake imefika tunaelewana hii mwisho imefika wale wamekuwa wakitembeza siasa hapa oh siasa karata ya siasa duni pesa kidogo hiyo siasa yenu tafuteni kazi nyingine ya kufanyia siasa hii mimi nitamaliza hii so anzeni kutafuta siasa nyingine ya kupeleka sio kama tunaelewana that is why niliwaambia i will write off madeni ya hizi kampuni serikali tatu imejaribu ku write off they did not succeed but i want to confirm to you mumesikia chairman wa nzoi anasema wamepata certificate from the treasury kusema deni ya nzoia is no more tunaelewana ile deni ya bilioni hamsini na kitu 52 53 billion ambaye ilikuwa nadaiwa kampuni yenu ya nzoia tumeifutilia mbali kama serikali hamuna deni tena kampuni yenu is free tumefanya hivyo kwa kampuni ya miwani tumefanya hivyo kwa kampuni ya muhoroni tumefanya hivyo kwa kampuni ya soni tumefanya hivyo kwa kampuni ya chemeli hiyo deni yote ilikuwa bilioni 117 we have written off na hata ile madeni ilikuwa ya um, madeni ilikuwa ya serikali mambo ya NSSF mambo ya NHIF mambo yale mengine haya ma, madeni yote pay as you earn hiyo mambo yote tumeifutilia mbali and we have taken it up as the government of Kenya and paid tunaelewana nilisimama hapa nikawaambia nitafanya hiyo kazi hiyo weka tick ya pili niliwaambia vile vile hii kampuni iko na madeni ya wakulima na tumefanya hesabu ya kampuni ya kampuni hizo zote kampuni ine ama kampuni tano tukapata iko deni ya 1.7 billion mimi nimepeleka supplementary when it was finally sorted nikapeleka supplementary budget bunge nikapitisha pesa imekuja hapa niko na hundi hapa ya pesa yenu pesa ya wakulima wote nikiondoka hapa in the next two days hakuna mkulima atakuwa anadai mkulima wa hapa kila mkulima atakuwa amelipwa tunaelewana kwa sababu wakulima ni watu wa muhimu bila mkulima hakuna kampuni hii bila mkulima hakuna wafanyikazi si ni kweli so we must sort out the farmers mimi nitaenda kampuni ya, ya Sony nitaenda kufanya hivyo tapeleke hao pesa yao chemeli moroni tafanya hivyo kwa sababu mimi nimeamua hii shida ya miwa i must sort it out tunaelewana hata mulisikia kulikuwa na makelele ingine hapa Mumias mimi nilienda nikawaambia wale wakora walikuwa Mumias eh mnajua vile niliwaambia si ndio niliwaambia maneno pale na hiyo maneno ndio mimi nimekuja hapa leo eh mimi nimekuja hapa leo ah si lazima tuambie ni ukweli mimi nimekuja hapa nikiwa waziri si ndio kwa sababu ya ufisadi na ukora imagine mimi nikiwa waziri mnakumbuka watu walikuwa walikuwa hapa ati wanajaribu kuniambia he chukua eh, hii magunia sijui ngapi ya, ya sukari mimi nikauliza hawa hii magunia imelipwa na nani nikamwambia hii magunia rudishia wa, wa, mimi sijakuja hapa kutafuta magunia ya ya, ya sukari tunaelewana mnakumbuka au mkumbuki si nirudisha wale watu wakora walikuwa hapa bado wako area nasikia sasa ndio wamekita mzizi hapa nauliza wewe na, na wacha tujiulize mkulima amelete miwa yake si ndio miwa yake imewekwa kwa mashine hawa wafanyikazi wamefanya kazi mashine imeuzwa mwisho mkulima hajalipwa mfanyikazi hajalipwa miwa 
imeuzwa sukari imeuzwa aha bana bana ati ati alafu mnaniambia tuendelee ati tuendelee namna hiyo mnasema tuendelee staili hiyo ati mnaniambia tawe aha bana ati tawe ndio tuendelee na ujinga hiyo haiwezekani my friend sijui kama tunaelewana tuko pamoja hii jambo i must sort it out hii tutatatua hii hakuna mtu tena ataipa kwa hii kampuni hakuna mtu ataendesha ufisadi hapa hakuna mkulima atalete miwa yake hapa asilipwe pesa yake na hawa wafanyikazi wakifanya kazi mwisho wa mwezi walipwe mshahara yao that's what we must do sijui kama tunaelewana jameni tuko pamoja na mimi niliwauliza mnipatie hii kazi nifanye si ndio Simu niliwa, niliwauliza? Simu umenipatia? Si jameni mnipatie yako nafasi nifanye hii kazi? Ama namna gani? Mtanipatia nafasi ninyoroshe hii kazi? Eh? Na nitanyorosha. Na mtu asikuja hapa kunitisha na maneno kidogo kidogo. Mimi si mtu ya kutisha na maneno ya pesa nani. Na mimi si mtu ya kufundishwa kazi. I know. Najua hii nini niliwaambia wakulima? Uh, Sihitaji si kukumbushwa. Ama namna gani? Tuko pamoja. Kwanza kama wewe haukuku au hujanipigia kura. Haukuku hata siku hiyo nikia nikia nikiaidiana na hawa watu you are not there. Sasa hii unakuja kuniambia kitu gani? Sio kama tunaelewana. Tunaelewana? Tuheshimiane. Mimi nataka niwaambie viongozi tufanye nini? Heshima si utumwa. Sio kama tunaelewana. Let us respect one another. Tunaelewana jameni. So mimi hii kazi yenu mimi nitafanya na bidii na kujitolea na nitatatua hii mambo yenu. Mimi nataka niwaambie hivi. Hapa tuko na nucleus. Si ndio? Eka kumi, elfu kumi na ine. Hiyo nucleus ni mali ya watu wa Bungoma. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Hiyo nucleus inafaa mupate pesa kila mwezi ama kila mwaka. So mimi nitafanya mambo manne ya kwanza sawa sawa si nimeli, si nimeondoa madeni yenu that's number one. number two, nimelipa hawa wakulima mimi sasa niko na biashara na kazi na hawa wafanyikazi si ndio hawa wafanyikazi lazima tukubaliane na wao si ndio mimi nataka mtu ambaye atakuja kuendesha hii kampuni afanye mambo manne ya kwanza alipe mkulima on time na ile bei tumekubaliana ya pili alipe wafanyikazi on time bila ya maswali ya tatu ya tatu alipe county government ya bungoma for the nuclear ziko hapa lazima county government ya bungoma ipate kati ya milioni tatu ama milioni tano kila mwaka you must get either county government ya bungoma ama wakulima wakulima wa miwa either walipwe either between 300 million and 500 million every year pesa ya e nucleus estate na huyo mtu ya kampuni aendeshe aendeshe hiyo mtu ya kuendesha na mimi nataka niwaambie hakuna kampuni ya mumia, ya, ya nzoia itauziwa mtu na kwanza wale waliuza wale waliuza pan paper si mnawajua si ndio si, si wanajulikana wanajulikana hawajulikani si mmoja yao ni ule mtu ambaye alikuwa anazungusha hapa kwa hapa hapa mumias si, si ni huyo jamaa ndiye ya alikuwa anazungusha mimi hapa na huyo mtu nilimwambia aniangalie vizuri sio kama tunaelewana So kama kuna mtu anafikiri atakuja kununua hii kampuni, atafute kampuni ya kununua hii aiuzwe. This will not be sold. Hii ni mali ya watu wa Bungoma. Tunaelewana? There is no privatization, there is no sale that is going to happen here. Tumekubaliana? Hakuna mtu atanunua hii kampuni. Ile kitu tutafanya, we will have the right management that is going to make sure that they pay the farmers they pay the workers they make they run the factory and they pay a dividend every year 
either to the farmers or to the great people of Bungoma County. That is what is going to happen. Tunaelewana jameni? Na nimekubaliana nitaketi chini na hawa viongozi wenu. Hawa viongozi wenu mumewachagua. Uyu wetangula sio mtu mdogo. Sieni speaker leo wa bunge. Sieni kiongozi amekuwa hapa miaka nyingi. Kwani ni mtu anaweza kuchezewa karata ya pata vote hapa katikati? He knows what he's doing. I am going to sit down and this with these leaders and we are going to agree on a program that is going to make sure that Nzoia tena is rudi mahali hapa ambaye tunakuja kulipa madeni mabilioni tunakuja kulipa madeni ya wakulima tunakuja kulipa mishahara ya, wa, ya wafanyikazi na miwa walilete na haijulikani ilienda kwa wana gani sio kama tunaelewana tuko pamoja mimi nauliza nyinyi watu hapa Nzoia Mnataka tutatue hii matatizo ama mnataka tufanye panadol ya kila siku ya kusongesha? Mnataka tutatue? Wale wanasema tutatue nione kwa mkono. Mnakubali mnakubali tubadilishe management ya hii mahali? Tuwe na management ambayo itahakikisha kwamba inalipa wakulima. Na ilipe wafanyikazi. Na iendeshe kampuni. Na ilipe watu wa hapa ile pesa ya nucleus. Hebu nione kwa mkono wale wanasema tuendelee namna hiyo. Ya mwisho. Ya mwisho. Tumekubaliana? Ya mwisho. Nyinyi mnakubaliana na mimi ya kwamba wale wa fisadi na wakora na wezi ambao wameangaisha hii kampuni. Mambo yao iwe ni matatu. Mnakubali hapo? Mnasema tuwasafirishe? Story finish. Tumemaliza mkutano sasa hii maneno ni sawa. Mimi najua vile nitafanya. Hawa watu ni watawakalia ngumu ajabu. Wata, watajua hawajui kwa sababu we are going to sort out this place once and for all. Hawa viongozi wenu, gabana wenu yuko hapa, speaker wetu yuko hapa, viongozi wenu wa bunge wako hapa, tutaketi chini na wao, tutakubaliana because mimi niko tayari kuongeza pesa yenye itaenda kwa mambo ya Ken development kwa sababu without Ken without Ken this factory will not will not go anywhere si namna hiyo na mpango yangu ni kwamba tukisha maliza program ya leasing ambayo itatupatia management ambayo itahakikisha kwamba watalipa mkulima kwa kwa, eh, kwa muda watalipa wafanyikazi wa wata make sure the company is running na walipe sisi pesa ya ile nuclear ziko hapa baada ya kufanya hivyo mimi nataka nikubaliane na nyinyi nitaongeza milioni ingine 500 just for Ken development tupatie wakulima waongeze mazao yao ya Ken development so that we can have enough Ken in this in this uh, factory na nitaweka shilingi bilioni mbili 500 million for every factory of the five, of the four factories ili tuhakikisha kwamba tunazalisha miwa zaidi ndio tuwache kuagiza miwa eh, sukari kutoka nje tuzalishe sukari kutoka hapa badala ya sisi kulipa ile pesa nyingi jameni tunalipa bilioni tano kila mwaka kuagiza chakula tunaagiza mahindi tunaagiza mchele tunaagiza eh, sukari tunaagiza ngano tunaagiza edible oil mambo ambayo vyakula ambavyo tungezalisha eh, hapa Kenya hiyo pesa tunalipa bilioni tano wakulima ya nchi zingine wacha tuliwalipe tuli wakulima wetu hapa Kenya ama mnasemaje watu wa Bungoma tumekubaliana tuendelee si ndio Hulialala. Huli pamoja. Bas, mwisho. Mimi vile vile nimekubaliana na hawa viongozi. Hapa nimekuja kwa sababu ya mambo ya maendeleo. Tuko na barabara nyingi zimekwama hapa Bungoma. Na tumekubaliana na hawa viongozi nitarudi hapa kabla ya mwezi wa sita. Nyinyi mnajua mwezi wa sita ile celebration ya madaraka 
ambaye tunafanyianga Nairobi mwaka huu tarehe moja mwezi wa sita tunafanyia hapa Bungoma kwa sababu Bungoma ni muhimu si namna hiyo kabla sijakuja hiyo safari mimi nitakuwa nimekuja hapa safari ya hii barabara zenu nikuje ni kuamue tujenge barabara wakulima wapate kusafirisha mazao yao nyinyi muendelee na uchumi tuweze kupandilisha mambo ya Kenya yetu vile vile hawa viongozi wameniuliza mambo ya stima tulikuwa na program ya stima ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa last mile ilikuja mpaka ikakwama hiyo program ya last mile nimekwamua na hiyo program sasa bungoma nimeweka 1.2 billion ya mwaka huu tuweze kuunganisha watu 1025 wapya kwa huduma ya stima jambo la tatu mimi nilisimama hapa nikawaambia vile vile lazima tupange ajira ya hawa vijana tuko na vijana mamilioni ni kweli ama si kweli tuko na vijana wengi manyumba yetu yote imejaa vijana wamemaliza shule wamemaliza form 4 mwingine amemaliza standard eh, wamemaliza eh, college wamemaliza university wako na certificate diploma degree lakini kazi hakuna ni kweli ama si kweli ndio sababu nimeweka mipango mara tatu ya kuzalisha ajira ya hawa vijana number one, program ya housing hiyo program ya housing nimeanzisha leo hapa Bungoma hapa Bungoma tunajenga nyumba 1020 mimi nahitaji vijana 1030 wa kufanya hiyo kazi tunahitaji architects engineers plumbers masons carpenters many other trades tunahitaji watu watakaofanya kazi kwa makampuni ya chuma makampuni ya steel makampuni ya simiti ndio tuweze kusukuma hii nia yetu ni kuhakikisha kwamba half a million young people will be working in the housing plan by the end of this year mimi nikiongea na nyinyi saa hizi vijana 1120 1130 to be exact wanafanya kazi katika program ya housing ya pili tumekubaliana na wabunge wenu akiwemo huyu makali akiwemo huyu mungwana eh, dan wanyama tumekubaliana na wao ya kwamba tutakuwa in every ward na nyinyi MCS msikie vizuri in every ward tutakuwa na ICT hub mahali mjumbe atajenga ICT hub mimi nitalete kompyuta mbili tutaweka mtandao tutaunganisha internet na mimi tayari nimeenda Marekani nimeenda Ulaya nimeenda Ujerumani nimeenda Ufaransa na tumekubaliana watatupatia nafasi nusu milioni digital jobs ili kijana hapa Bungoma anaweza kufanya kazi akiwa kwa wodi yake anafanya kwa kampuni iko Marekani na analipwa kwa madola akiwa hapa nyumbani Mheshimiwa Makali Mheshimiwa Dan na waheshimiwa wale wengine 4 months tumewapatia pesa ya CDF 4 months mumalize ICT hub mimi nitaweka computers mimi nitaweka mtandao nimeweka tayari walimu ambao watafundisha hawa vijana kazi yenu nyinyi ni kufinya kompyuta na unaweka pesa kwa mfuko ukishindwa usiniulize sijui kama tunaelewana mtu akishindwa kufinya sasa ataniuliza maswali gani sio ni story yake ama tunaelewana na mbogani jamii watu wa bungoma tunaelewana mpango ingine nimeweka ni mambo ya bilateral labor agreement nimezungumza na nchi nyingi na wamekubali ya kwamba tunaweza kupeleka vijana wetu waende wafanye kazi Marekani, waende wafanye kazi Europe, waende wafanye kazi UAE, waende wafanye kazi Ujerumani. Juzi mliona kwa magazeti tumetangaza program ya kwanza ya nurses. Tunahitaji nurses 2500. Tuko na nafasi ingine ya wafanye kazi wengine eh, 5000 ambayo inakuja this month. Before the end of this year tunataka export of labor almost half a million young people. Nimesikia wale watu wa upinzani marafiki ya huyu rafiki yangu ati wanasema ati mbona Ruta amepanga ati vijana waende wafanye kazi ngambo. Angepanga wafanye kazi hapa Kenya. Sasa mimi nashangaa. Si tulikubaliana kazi ni kazi. Kazi ikipatikana hapa Webuye si unafanya. Ikipatikana Nairobi si utafanya. Ikipatikana London si utafanya. Kwani wewe huko na kazi huko na kifirani gani na kazi ile iko? Sijui kama tunaelewana. 
Mko tayari tufanya hii kazi vijana wa hapa Webuye ama mko na mane gani? Mko tayari? Ikipatikana Webuye mtafanya? Ikipatikana Kandui mtafanya? Na ikipatikana Bungoma na Nairobi na Ujerumani? <laughs> Wewe hakuna kazi mbinguni kazi mbinguni. <laughs> Ukiona <laughs> sasa sasa mbinguni sijui utaenda kufanya kazi gani wewe. <clears throat> so tumekubaliana ndugu zangu watu wa Bungoma. So ndugu zangu watu wa Bungoma mimi nataka niwahakikishie we are going to make sure that farming pays puts money in citizens pockets. Na tutashirikiana tutafanya kazi pamoja nyinyi wafanye kazi. Mimi nataka niwaambie mimi nitawapanga your, your areas once i finish my plan i will sort out your areas and i will make sure that everything is done so otherwise asanteni sana watu wa Bungoma kwa sababu bado niko na shughuli ingine eh, nilikuwa nimekuja hapa shughuli ingine kubwa kule ya soko mimi nawapenda sana na mimi nataka niwahakikishie ile kura yenu mlinipigia mimi nitahakikisha kwamba hiyo kura yenu itawafanyia kazi na it will make a difference in your lives. Asanteni sana, oriyomono, nyasaya mulini.